We are less than a week away from the start of the U.S. Olympic swim team trials. Now, several local swimmers are preparing to head to Indianapolis, Indiana, to compete for a spot on Team USA. WRAL's Laura Levine was at a send-off party for some of these young athletes taking their talents to new heights. It all started here at the Silverton Swim Club for these young swimmers now heading to the national stage. And they swim three days a week, 5 to 6.30 in the morning. They swim um, Monday through Friday afternoon, 3.20 to 5.30. It's that type of dedication. Coach Paul Silver of the Marlins of Raleigh swim team says that led three of his swimmers to qualify for the Olympic trials this year. It's real satisfying to see their hard work pay off. Dozens gathered at the swim club to celebrate them with their biggest races yet still to come. Hudson DeGroat qualified for the 400 IM. It's the hardest event in sports. People say it is, and I agree. Um, but it it is my best. His mentality going into this week is to treat it as a normal swim meet. It's going to be tough to do that because first Olympic trials and first big, big, big meet where you can qualify internationally. An NC State student, Wells Walker, is making waves after qualifying in the 50 freestyle. It's just something I really enjoy. It's working on that technique and the speed and power every day. And this is Ian Stutz, who just made the cut last weekend for the 200 IM. It's going to be way more people watching me swim than ever before. And I mean, that's just crazy that there are going to be 30,000 people in the stadium watching a swim meet. For the first time ever, the event will be staged on a football field at the Lucas Oil Stadium. And here at the Silverton Swim Club, speakers like two-time U.S. Olympian Mark Gangloff shared words of wisdom to these dreamers with gold in hand, showing them what is possible if they just keep swimming. I definitely never really thought that I would get here. I mean, just keep like working hard in practice, keep going to practice, just Keep swimming. It's awesome. Laura Levine, WREL News and Cary. Wow. We'll also be watching for Triangle native Claire Curzan and others as well as they try to make it back to the Olympics. Now, Team USA will also head to Triangle Aquatic Center in Cary for practice before heading to Paris. WREL will have you covered there with public events to watch Team USA get ready.